Well, hey folks, Fat Guy Flies RC out here at the uh, Windfest 2020 2024 here at the Park Era Mollers Club. Gonna, wind is kind of crazy. Going to take up the uh, for the second flight ever on the Dura, the brand new Durafly Vampire. And I uh, did the maiden this morning and it was pretty much the same conditions, but it was so dark and gray and had such an overcast that the video didn't, I'm, I'm putting the video out there so you can watch it, but the, the visually it's not that good because you can't really see the plane that well because it was just so dark. Um, but it's a lot brighter now, so we're gonna try to fly her in this crazy wind, which is now stronger and I'm a nut. So that's okay. Got the AS3X, got the gy nose gyro for the front steering and uh, Hopefully the plane will survive. I found that my high rates were best. And that's 60% over 30% expo all the way around. And also I was saying I've never had a plane jet that would float like this and completely forgot about the Habu. The Habu absolutely floats. This plane will lift off really quick. And, it, and it's almost like a glider. And it will, it takes forever for it to land because it wants to glide and glide and glide, but it has a very wide stance, so landing is a little bit more forgiving. But they're very small wheels, so I'm gonna ha keep her on the runway. So. Starting the fun over. All right, here we go. Yeah, that's a good flying plane. Yeah, I had to turn the gains down because it was oscillating too much. Oh boy. Yeah, when landing is going to be very interesting. Yeah, landing is going to be very interesting. I got no yaw control or yaw correction, so. I'm going to take it up. Yeah, bank and yank for paradise there. Yeah, landing is going to be very, very interesting. Well, it just stopped and said, no, I want to go. <laughs> Very well balanced plane where I've got the CG or where I've got the uh, battery. Out of the power now, just floating, gliding, hopefully. I got no... No kind of yaw control. <laughs> well, that 
was fun. <laughs> Let's take her out one more time. We still got a little over a minute. Yeah, that nose wheel gyro is a big help, especially with something that doesn't have any rudder. Oh yeah, that make a huge difference that gyro on that nose gear. Safe to approach. All right, real quick before we t show you the battery, I have her in 60% throws over 30% expo on the elevator and the ailerons. Okay, 100%. Uh, I mean. 60 and 60 and 40 percent 60 percent throws and 40 percent expo on the nose or nose steering but that is my high rate 60 percent 30 or 30 percent expo okay this is the book's high rate okay that's eight to tw that's 12 millimeters ailerons and 12 millimeters elevator that's their high rate according to the book I would even try to fly it on that. And just so you know, in a Spectrum, that's 20% throws on a Spectrum. I didn't say that in the, in the Maiden. maiden. So 60% 60 is much better for me with 30% Expo, just so you know. All right. And the only other jet that I own that I've ever flown that floats, that will float and fly well without the motor running is the Habu. I'd forgotten when I was talking about how I'd never had a jet float like that before, the, the Habu uh, floats like that. These two, you get them up high and cut the motor, you can glide in and save a lot of battery and really extend your flight. This, however, does burn through the battery quicker than the Habu does. All right, let's uh, check the battery and see how much life is left in the tank. But in my opinion, this one looks a lot better than the Habu. But this one doesn't have a rudder either. So, no rudder, no rudder. We don't need no stinking rudder. 31% and we got 25 seconds left on a three and a half minute timer. And I was hitting her full speed an awful lot. Uh, well, back and forth mixed flying really. Um, the, there is no blue board or any kind of control board for your gear so they're up and down pretty quick um, it has the push pull steel cable design to for the steering on the nose gear which is very effective and yeah this is the little chicken wire um, but it, it's very light plane so it's very little impact on that gear and they've put in these uh, hard flare uh, fairings around the gear mounts They've also put plastic around this. They reinforced the gear they, uh, all the way around. They've improved the uh, wings. They made them stiffer. They've actually got double, I think, I think they said double spars now inside the wings. It's internal. Um, everything is glued on. The booms glue on. The elevator glue between the booms. The wings glue into the side of the fuselage. Um, I use hot glue. I use Gorilla brand hot glue and it seems to be just fine um i'm already starting to notice some of the paint starting to chip off on the nose here from sitting in the corner at the house um, so just be mindful of that 
But what you can do is you can take this down to Home Depot, Lowe's, Hardware, have them scan that color and get you a little tester bottle of their acrylic paint and you can perfectly match that paint. And a little a pint like that will run you like eight, 10 bucks and it'd be enough to do 500 planes. So <laughs> and that's the least amount they're gonna sell you. But a good little plane, very impressed with it. Plenty of power. Um, it's supposed to have reverse thrust. Mine did not come with a reversing ESC. Maybe mine was, one of the, mine was one of the first models that came out and they didn't quite put them in. But on the advertisement page, it does say 60 amp ESC with a five Ubeck with reversing. Mine did not have it. Did not have that little pigtail. I've got a customer ticket in to Hobby King. They're gonna send me out the correct ESC. Um, but there you go, folks. That is the Durafly Vampire. And she flies just fine in anywhere from 15 to 23 mile an hour winds. Just remember, you got no rudder, so no yaw control. All right, folks, God bless y'all, God is good, and that's the vampire. Bye-bye.